What's going on guys? This is Black Hat Gaming back with another video and today we have another Fortnite skin review for you but before I do that I want to say thank you so much to everyone because we hit 1,000 subscribers on Friday that's right we hit 1k so I just wanted to take a moment before I started this video to say thank you so much to everyone who has supported me and watch out for the new 1,000 subscriber video that's gonna be coming out in the next couple days I'm sorry I just got back from being away this weekend but right back into the topic of the video so in the item shop the last I think maybe it was yesterday they released a new money bundle the transformers pack hold on wait wait a second let me turn off the music so they released this new money bundle the transformers pack and this is kind of a weird release because they had Optimus Prime in the battle pass but that was a few seasons ago so I don't really know why they're releasing this now but here it is in the item shop. It was leaked, it's been leaked, and we've known about it for a while. So let's get right into what's in the bundle here. So this is not a bundle that you buy with V-Bucks. As you can see right here, the price for it is $24.99 in US dollars, which might seem a little bit expensive, but for that price, you do get three skins, three backlings, three pickaxes, two built-in emotes, and 1,000 V-Bucks. So let's go through what we have in the bundle right here. So we have the Bumblebee skin, Bumblebee's Wings Backling and Stinger Sword, which obviously all go together. Then we have the Megatron Skin, Deception Emblem Backbling, and Energon Mace, which all go together. And these, to my understanding, are both characters from Transformers, but right here is the Battle Bus Transformer Skin, and this is a Fortnite original skin, which I think is pretty funny that they turned the Battle Pass into a Transformer. But with this skin, you get the Battle Bus Skin, the Bot Air Balloon, and the Pick Axle. So those all go together, and they're all in the blue and yellow that color the battle pass. Now, right here, we have the two bills and emotes, so battle ready. And you can see there, Bumblebee pulls out his pickaxe, and I'm assuming that that will allow you to switch between that, regardless of what pickaxe you have equipped. And then this emote, Fusion Cannon for Megatron. Which, I think that's just a cool emote. I don't think that switches between it or anything. But yeah, I think that's that's just a normal build and emo. And you also get a thousand V bucks. So looking at this value wise, a thousand V bucks is uh, did they change the price yet? No, a thousand V bucks is still seven ninety nine. So if you subtract seven ninety nine from this price right here, that's what seventeen dollars. Hold on, let me think. Four ninety nine. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's seventeen dollars. So seventeen dollars for three skins, three backlinks, three pickaxes, and three emotes. Even if you assume that all those skins are green, which they're not, that's still insane value for money. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this, and then we'll get right into the review. All right. So as you can see, we are in our test map here, and I've decided that I'm gonna review the Bumblebee skin first. So as you can see, we have it on. It is a kind of big skin, but the first thing that I want to note when you put on the skin is the sound that it makes when you're running around. If you listen. It makes all these cool mechanical sounds when you're running and sliding, especially when you s slide into a sprint. Listen to that. Hold on, let me, let me hear that again. So that's very, very cool, actually. It gives you these cool, it really sounds like you're playing as a robot. So that's very interesting. Now, right away, the color of the skin, I like it. I think it's well designed. It definitely looks like a transformer. The bright yellow does stand out a little bit. It's kind of noticeable. Not super bright yellow, but I think it's still... It wouldn't really give you a disadvantage in the game, I don't think. The back bling, eh, the back bling is okay. I mean, it fits the theme. I don't really know a lot about Transformers. I don't know if that's relevant to the uh, show at all or the movies. Is it a show? Oh my god, I'm going to get flamed for this. But I don't really know what it is. But I don't know if it fits like the story of the Transformers. But I don't really like it that much. It just kind of looks like... Um, I mean, it's supposed to be like a winged insect right because it's bumblebee but i think i don't know it just looks kind of weird the wheels do move when you jump i think that's kind of a nice touch but overall i think it's just a very clunky back bling that i probably wouldn't use in game now as for the pickaxe it is like a one-armed sword pickaxe here it attaches right to his arm and it does make this cool sound when you swing it here i'll oh look at that pull out animation hold on let me get a gun real quick let's see the pull out animation again so this is with the gun out, and it kind of deploys it like a like a blade right there. Let's see that again. So that's very cool actually. So you do get that like blade effect. Now if I put down a wall, 
What does it look like when I'm swinging? It doesn't... Okay, there is like a nice trail on it. Let's see, what does it look like when I'm hitting the wall? Okay, there's no splash effects that I could see. Let me go over to here. But I don't think there's a splash effect on it. At least not that I can see. Oh no, there is a splash effect. I think... Oh yeah, it does give you like a little... It does give you like a little uh, electric shock there. That's pretty cool. So you do... This pickaxe is pretty good actually. And let's see the built-in emote, I think. So it lets you pull it out. And then I'm assuming put it away. And it goes back to what you had before. So I'm assuming this is to switch between pickaxes. So let me put on another pickaxe and then we'll see what it looks like. Alright, so we have another pickaxe on. I just picked one that was next to it in my locker, so it's just kind of random. But let's so this is this is a normal pickaxe, right? Now let me do the emote. Alright, and it switches our pickaxe to the bumblebee pickaxe right here. And then if we want to go back to the old pickaxe, we got we can go back to the old pickaxe. So that's pretty cool. I think that's a really cool feature. We've seen that before, obviously, with stuff like the uh, katana pickaxe. I forget. It goes with the Charlotte skin. I don't know where it is. Here it is, this hand forged emote. So it's nothing new, but it's still pretty cool. I mean, I think this skin is pretty nice. I wonder here, let's see what it looks like. Can I see what it looks like when you're like gliding? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's okay. I mean, I do think the skin's pretty big, but it is a transformer, so that kind of fits. All right, let's see our next skin. All right, so this right here is the Megatron skin. So this is very similar to the Bumblebee skin in terms of how the skin is kind of built here. It's kind of a clunky skin, very big. Once again, it fits the style of Transformers, but it does, I think, kind of lend itself to being a nice sniper target. No cool sound when you're sliding this time, but you do still get the sound effects when you're running, kind of, if you listen. It's faintly there. Now the back bling, first of all, the back bling looks weird with the skin. It's kind of floating off his back. I don't know why that's happening. But this is very similar to Optimus Prime's back bling. Uh, if you'll remember, when he was in the Battle Pass, he had a back bling that was kind of in the same style, like design of the, his face in like a stylized backlink so it's again not a new design but i guess this is the emblem for this character which is all right now the pickaxe i do like this is the electro mace i think it's called and this sounds really cool this might be my favorite pickaxe from this bundle let's see that pull out animation again oh and it's attached to his hand basically oh interesting so you pull it out and it's, it comes right out of his hand. Oh, maybe so. The, maybe the built-in emote... Oh, no, I did not want to do that. Maybe the built-in emote is for the, uh, the pickaxe. Interesting. So, this is the pickaxe. And let's see what it looks like. There is definitely a trail when you swing it. It's another, like, one-handed pickaxe. We've seen these kind of whip pickaxes before. I think I own a couple of them, these flail pickaxes. But it's very interesting. It does make this cool sound effect and leave this pink trail behind, so I do like that. I really like that. I think it's very fluid. That's cool. It's animated very nicely. Is there a splash on it? There is a splash on it. Let me see. You get that, like, pink splash effect on it. I'll let you listen to the pickaxe now. So that does sound very cool. I think that's, that's very interesting. I like that. So, hold on. What is the built-in emote? Let's see the built-in emote first. So, uh, well, I don't know. Let's see if that's for the pickaxe. So, let me put on a different pickaxe real quick. Actually, wait. What does this pickaxe look like when you have another skin on? Let's see. Okay, so this is another skin that is not Transformers. And it looks like it literally just puts a big box over their hand with the pickaxe coming out of it. So, uh, I don't know. I That looks kind of weird. I don't know if I would want to use this on any other skin. It just kind of makes them look really, really weird. I can't see this being good for combos on any other skin besides the Transformers skin. I mean, that's just... Like, that looks really strange. I, I don't know what else to say. 
I mean, it's a cool pickaxe, but I would only really use it with the Megatron skin, unfortunately. That's kind of a shame that... What, what does this look like on, like, another Transformer? Let me put Bumblebee back on. Okay, so if you use it on a Transformer skin, it kind of just fits in seamlessly here. Right? I mean, obviously they've designed it to be incorporated with the Transformer skins, but not with any other non-robot skin. Hold on, now I have a bunch of ideas here. I want to try it with a bunch of other skins. Hold on. Um... I think... I've discovered an oversight here. They have it coming out of his shark hands, and it looks really, really weird. That might be the strangest. Oh no, it 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 is on his like hand there. It just looks really strange. Okay, so this pickaxe. Hold on, let me switch back to Megatron. Okay, so yeah, this pickaxe is really good, but only if you're using it on a Transformer skin. Any other skin, I would say this looks kind of weird. That's up to you, obviously, but I don't know. I just wouldn't... The plot animation's nice, though. Look at that. Oh, that's such a shame. This could have been such a good pickaxe. Oh, well. I, I think overall it's a good skin. Like, I'm, don't let that discourage you from buying the bundle, but there is still one more skin that we have yet to see, and that is, of course, the original Battle Bus Transformer. So let me throw that set on right now. All right, so I will say this is the skin that I was the most excited for in this bundle. I think the idea of a Battle Bus Transformer is really, really funny, and I think they did it really well. Look, it even says right on his shoulder, Battle Bus. It's the same as, you know, the other skins. You got the, oh, you do get the nice sound when you're sliding now. But it's got like the clunky sound effects. It's got the cool, like, you really feel like you're playing as a robot. I think they did a really good job on that with all three skins. I will say I like how it's faithful to like the original Battle Bus and all that. You got like the wheels and stuff. I think that's really cool. The only thing that would like make this better is if they had a traversal emote where you could like turn into like little Battle Bus and like drive around as a miniature Battle Bus. That would be insane. Unfortunately, they didn't opt for that on this one. That would make this bundle immediately a buy for me but as it is i think the skin is great so you can see it has the back bling on it which is of course the iconic battle bus hot air balloon and i love how they stayed truthful to the battle bus with this hold on was this reactive i want to see is this did it say this was reactive no it's not reactive okay but yeah you can see you have like the little animated flame under there because, of course, that's how the Battle Bus works. It is technically a big hot air balloon, and it is cool. I do think it looks a little strange when you're running. It's just kind of dangling off your back. But with big skins like this, that's kind of always going to happen. I mean, it's kind of hard to get it to fit perfectly with every skin, but I think they did a pretty good job. And, of course, it is well incorporated with this skin because... Is it off-center? It's off-center. It's off-center on the like thing on his back. All right, well now that's gonna bother me forever, but whatever. It looks nice with this skin, I think. Now the pickaxe is the pickaxle, and you can see that might be my favorite plot animation so far. And they've gone with another theme of one-handed. Yo, wait, did you hear that? The sound this pickaxe makes is great. I love that, actually. And it's got a nice trail going through it. That's pretty cool. Does it have like a splash effect? It does. That's really cool. I like that. Okay, this Battle Bus skin is definitely my favorite one out of this pack. Unfortunately, this one doesn't come with a built-in emote, but I think like overall this one looks pretty good, yeah? I mean, I like it. I like this skin. I think, yeah, this might be my favorite skin out of this pack. I just, oh, dude, I wish they had given it like traversal battle bus emote but other than that i think it's really great all right let's go back to lobby and i'll tell you my final opinions all right so what's my final opinion on this pack i think it is kind of pricey for 24.99 right but well i think we know that they're going to change the price of this when they change the price of v bucks so if you want to buy it buy it soon i would say um i think overall like i really like this pack obviously i think this battle bus skin is the best or battle i said battle pass i meant battle bus i think this battle bus skin is the best but the other two are pretty good i think my least favorite is probably megatron 
but the pickaxe looks weird. I don't really like the color scheme. But I think Bumblebee is a pretty half-decent skin. Overall, what would I rate this pack? Probably an 8.5 out of 10, right? I think it's a pretty good buy. And you also get V-Bucks for it, so you get at least some of that money back in the form of V-Bucks, so you can buy an emote or a skin. It's 1k, so it's a pretty nice amount. And it's cheaper than the Minty Legends pack too, which was like $32 and had the same amount of stuff. So overall, I think this pack is actually a pretty good deal, especially if you're into Transformers. So overall, yeah, I think that's great. Uh, if you guys enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I guess our, our new goal is 1250 on YouTube. I don't really know what to say for subs because we hit 1K, which is such a crazy milestone. But also, I'm going to take this time to plug my Twitter and my Discord and my Instagram. Make sure to go follow me on those and join the Discord because I might be announcing giveaways there or doing stuff with fans. So you never know. You might want to make sure you follow those too. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Thanks.